So T7 are releasing a new version, Mark II version of their water plate kit. This water plate for Sirius K20, K24 engines is meant to remove your stock water pump and a very neat solution to hold your radiator with integrated uh, tensioner and it's aluminium, anodized, black, amazing quality. Just wanted to show you a very quick step-by-step -step how to assemble this because chances are I'll probably am the first one testing it and there's nothing like this online. That's a good one! It comes with extensive instructions. I'm not sure whether the final version, uh, the retail one, will come with the same instructions or not, but nevertheless. So what you have, you have the main big bracket that goes onto your engine. You have the bottom support bracket for your alternator. You have your pulley and a selection of bolts. This bracket will work with standard K20 alternators. I have a WASP 120 amp unit here. And also the belt that comes with the kit works with a five point something inch uh, crank, crank pulley. Uh, so let's uh, assemble it. So first thing I want to assemble is I want to assemble the tensioner pulley. According to the instructions, you take your pulley, there is a long bolt then you put your small washer, then a spring washer, then a big black washer, and it goes from the side, it doesn't have a circlip, like so. Then you take your square nut, insert it into the slot from the back, keep it somewhere around center. Then you take this beautifully machined piece of um, steel with a, with a threaded side, to the side where there is a hole on the top of the bracket you slightly align them together you put this in and you screw it in quite loosely for now next step is you need to take a set of o-rings it comes with two o-rings and you need to put a large one over your main port like so to be honest with you it would not hurt if you actually had o-ring lubricant i don't have one here and on the front there is another port for another small o-ring that goes on there the adapter plate should come with metal dowels already fit in if they are not please fit them in and then you take your bracket that came with it this is the one that holds alternator you align with two holes on the back make sure the o-ring stays in place like this you can turn it around and you use two of the smaller M10 bolts from the back tighten them hard do not over tighten them because the plate is alloy you should feel when it's tight so the main plate is done i already fitted two fittings that i'm going to use i'm going to use an16 and also an10 for the breather they are supplied with different ones you can choose for the normal hose i chose an16 so this side is done next you need to bolt your bottom alternator bracket to the engine but first you need to clean your engine so you make sure that you clean your engine the flange usually has lots of sealant i use the blade to scrape it all off and then you just brush it off so it's nice and clean finish 
obviously a good idea to hoover it and get rid of all the dust. Next you take your plate and you fit it over the top like so. You use M12 bolts that are provided with the kit. You loosely So the main bracket is attached, same goes for the top one, make sure this protrusion is to the left of the engine. Next it's time to feed the alternator. This goes at the top, this goes at the bottom, but for the bottom you also have to use two washers, they are provided in the kit, they are 10 millimeters. And I have to say, I haven't used the Mark I version, but judging from the pictures, this is so much more counterintuitive and easier to work with, and also stronger and more robust, because it has been redesigned by T7, and the main bracket that holds the alternator instead of a stud sort of a pin or just a bolt it's actually a bracket so again this top main bolt for the alternator the top one you screw it loosely for now so you can move the alternator then you take your longer bolts, you put a wash on one side, your 10 mil spacer on the other. Now you can tighten the top bolt. Now you take a longer bolt and you screw it on top of the pulley. This is your tensioner for the belt. Now you take your belt that comes with this kit and you simply put it over your pulleys. Now by screwing this top, belt, top bolt, you're tightening the belt. Pulley goes up and the belt gets tightened. A good way to check your belt is a proper tension is you take or you find the longest, the longest bit of it. So mine obviously is the bottom, probably on yours too. And then you twist it 90 degrees. You should be just about go 90 and not much further. This is how you fit T7 water plate kit, Mark II water plate kit. Thank you very much for watching. All the links to this product to T7 where you can buy this is in the description. Don't forget to follow, subscribe, like and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.